Hello, my loves. Right, a little bit late um, on this because we've had some things at home going on, but there is a new launch from Madame Glam. It is stunning. Ooh la la. And this time we're travelling to Paris. There's 10 new pastel gels and one glitter top coat. Oh, my days. So let's go through. First, we've got Candyland. These names are so cute. And these colours are just perfect. Next, we've got Sweetness. Mmm, delicious. Following on from that, we've got Cherry Petals. Look at that. Really soft pastel colours. Next up is Viola. And then Primavera. How beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, next is Blueberry Cream. Gorgeous. This soft lemon is called lemon pie. I do like a yellow. And I don't have one like this. Then we've got raindrop. Beautiful soft blue. I feel like there's a hint of purple in there as well. Then we've got I lime you. <laughs> I lime you. Very cute. And Spring in Paris, or Paris. Ah, oh, at me trying to sound posh. And this is the top coat. <gasps> it's called Funfetti. And I freaking love it. I love it. But the problem is, because I love it, I want to put it on everything. And I'm going to make things look silly, aren't I, if I put them on too much? Okay, so I'm going to use Viola for the first nail. And we're just going to do a full nail of that i will do two coats even though the coverage is pretty good with madame glam i've not prepared the tips with base coat or anything it's just going straight down on the plastic tip because look i ain't got time for that honey so it grips really well considering and um even though i don't probably need to i will do two coats So when the second coat has cured, I'm going to go in with Funfetti, the top coat. Look at it! Oh my god, it's so gorgeous! <gasps> oh, I love it! I really love it. Okay, that's just a 30 second cure like the normal top coat. I'm just going to add a couple of more bits of the glitter. It lays flat, it's beautiful, it's stunning, I love it. So pretty. So we'll give it a cure and I'm just wiping off any excess on the edges. And then once that's fully cured, I'm actually going to buff the surface. Why? You may ask. Why would you do that? Well, because I need to paint something on top. Technically, I could paint directly onto this top coat with the Madame Glam Art Gel, but um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for the final effect, whether I was going to top coat it or not. So. I buffed it, I went over with a matte top coat. I'll paint on top of that. To be honest, it's nicer doing it that way anyway. So I'm gonna do some little clouds. Do you know what? I kept looking at these colors and I just couldn't, I could, everything I thought of didn't look right. And um, my manual dexterity was not so good. Um, I was struggling a bit with my right hand and I was like I can't really do the detailed design that's in my head it's not coming to life and then I was like oh they just look like fairy clouds and pretty skies and then I was like yes clouds and that's how this came about so yeah I'm sure I've seen 
It might even be Nat do clouds recently. Somebody has. So maybe it was just stuck at the back of my head somewhere because in, I was intending on doing a floral design and I tried three or four different designs, but my hand wasn't working. It just wasn't playing ball with how detailed I needed to get it. Uh, it's my grip. Sometimes it just because of my thumb. So yeah, I couldn't anyway, but I'm really happy with these and I love the mat on top of the glitter top coat. I seriously love the effect of that. It almost looks like little, I don't know, magical stars in the sky. So, so beautiful. Um, and apologies for being a bit slow on the video front and this, this particular video being so delayed. Unfortunately, um, our beautiful doggy Milo has gone to doggy heaven this week on Monday. So it just put a real downer on things I wasn't feeling particularly creative it was just we just needed a few days but we've had a few days now and it's you know it's not so raw so yeah apologies for it being late but you know this is the new launch of Madam Glam it did launch beginning of the month it is live on their website so you can get it and there is a 30% discount available if you choose um, you can use my discount code which I'll put in the description box so I've done a few of these little cloudy things. I just use a dotting tool for the top and my Madame Glam gel applicator brush to smudge out the bottom. And then I'm just using a dotting tool to do a few little dots and I'll just, um, I'll just use my detailer brush um, for pulling out the edges of the stars. This is my super fine like, detailer. It's not the ultra liner, it's the detailer. Um, so yes, it's that. And we just pull out the sides, just pull them out ever so slightly and you've got some little stars. I love it. That needs a 60 second cure. There we go. That's that. I will matte top coat as well. On to the next nail is going to be cherry petals. I'm going to do two full coats of cherry petals. Now, Cherry Petals is having a matte top coat because this is going to have the bling design on it because you know it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. Um, so, yeah. So, for anyone who didn't understand what I just said, don't worry. It's just something I do. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. I'm obsessed. So, yeah, 30 second cure on that. And then we are going in with the Alina Crystal Spring Mix, which is called Pretty Petals. I'll distribute it into two trays because the mix is like 655 crystals. It's quite a lot to put in one tray and try and dig your way through. It's part of the March box uh, alongside plenty of other products. So you can also have a look at that. I'll put the link in the description. I'm using Alina Bling Bond for the crystal application and I'm just mixing up some of those lovely soft springtime colours that are in the mix that will complement what we're doing today and I'm just going to do a little swoopy nail swoopy swooshy I know what I mean anyway so I'll let you sit back and watch this I have sped it up and I have cut uh, cut the clips for me faffing around trying to find what to use next because you don't need to see that
I did also add caviar beads around the edges, um, just, you know, because I felt like it. Um, but I didn't film it because you guys know how to do caviar beads. It's very boring to watch. It's very boring to do, um, but, you know, quite necessary if you want to finish it off. And I'm going to matte top coat again, but this time I'm just going to tuck the top coat around the very edges of that design. Just tuck it in all around the edges and then give it a 30 second cure and that will be that nail completed. Oh yes, I'm also finishing this one off with matte top coat as well. Next, I'm going to do a vertical ombre. I'm going to use Candyland and Sweetness. And we're going to do a vertical ombre. I haven't, I don't know, I can't remember the last time I did a vertical ombre. I normally do them horizontal, don't know why, but I just do. But we're doing a vertical today. So I'm just going to paint just over half the nail with one of the colours, then just over half the nail again with the other colour, add a bit extra zhuzh in the middle, and just use my ombre brush to, to get it into shape and get it sorted. And I will do two layers of that. I think I only showed you one because Chloe rang from university and I really needed to get this finished. So I showed you how I do it once and I'll just, I'll do the same second time around. So once I've got my second layer done, I'm going to go in with that beautiful Funfetti top coat. And we're going to do a nice layer of that. Get it cured for 30 seconds. Beautiful, look how pretty that is. Okay, that's that nail done. On to the last nail, I'm going to use Primavera. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to do two full coats of that on this nail.
Then, obviously, we're going in with Funfetti. I told you I'm obsessed with it. it I think it's my favourite glitter top coat that they do. I've got the one with the gold shards and the silver shards, but this, this is different. This is special. Specialer. I just really, really like it. Okay. So that's going to have a cure. And I'm going to do some clouds on this now. You will see it will all come together in the final reveal. But yes, yeah, so cure, buff, really fast. I don't actually buff that fast. That is fast forwarded. Can you imagine? How quickly would I get the chopping done of the vegetables or the washing up? Brrrp. Okay. Then we're going to go in and we're going to do the clouds. Then once we've had a generous matte top coat, that is the design done. Look, it all flows beautifully. I love the vertical ombre. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this design and it's very nice to be back filming. I will see you very soon in my next video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box. Tally bye.